Ignite the Arts Festival recap. We started Friday morning out with an eight and a half hour Google Maps time drive. So actually took us probably more like 10 or 11 hours. Not to worry though, because there's always car karaoke and snowy mountain passes to keep us occupied. As we made our descent and neared Penticton, the anticipation started to build to catch some of our favorite acts. Luckily, we made it in time to catch Parlor Panther, Haley Wallace, and the Spiritual Warriors. And then we called it a night so we could wake up the next day and enjoy some of what Penticton has to offer in terms of outdoor recreation and enjoyment. We made sure Ponyo had enough time to play outside and shake all her sillies out before we started to pack up our gear to go play our first show at the festival. It was located at the Brit Bar, which is this cool location that has a big garage door that can be open. We watched our friends Kiva and Gio perform their set. And then we took all that energy from their set, jumped on stage and performed ours. It was so much fun. All went by in such a blur. We left the venue, walked outside, and this was happening, which was amazing. And then we caught some Selena Martin, which was so epic, at the Dream Cafe. Love the lighting, love the vibe of that venue. It was so great. The next act on was Stephen Ham, the Theremin Man. It was our first time seeing him perform, and we had heard about him for years. It was so much fun, so cool. Loved every second of it. Then we went back to our hotel room, let my hair down, had a great night's sleep to prepare for the next day, which started out at Cannery Brewing, and the act on before us was our dear friend Kansas Lee. She's an amazing songwriter and singer. And then we hopped on stage and performed our set. It was such a beautiful, intimate venue, and the people who were there in the crowd were really there to listen and engage with the stories and songs. I sold some of my mom's stuffies, and they look so cute on stage. And by this point, it was the last few hours of programming, and the festival was starting to wind down. There was the volunteer, staff, and artist appreciation after party which was such a beautiful coming together of everyone who worked so hard and so tirelessly to put the festival on over the weekend. And then we packed up our bags and headed out. Thank you so much, Ignite the Arts. See you next time.